So uh, the first thing which you need to understand is what is state space search. State space search means to solve any particular problem we will define the state of that particular problem with the help of four tuples and these four tuples are enough to define the state of that problem where we'll be having a tuple which will be telling you what is the start state we'll be having a tuple which will be telling you what are the goal states we'll be having a tuple which will be telling you that what are the different set of states and then we'll be will also be having a tuple which is the state transition function uh, which we are going to use okay so just it is just like in finite automata in case of finite automata, automata we discussed about what are the set of states what are final state what is the transition function and uh, the different things about the finite automata right that is how we define the basic definition of finite automata here also we will take some problems some real world problems and we will define the state of those real world problems and in the same way we are going to define what is the goal state because we are going to represent the problems with the help of some graphs or you can say some graph methods so this is uh, this is the state space search so we have the state space search now here the basic search problems can be defined with these four tuples basic search problems can be defined with the four tuples which are capital S small s O and G so every problem will be defined using capital S small s O and G where capital S is defining what are the set of states small s will be defining what is initial state where O capital O it will be defining what are the operations you can perform or you can say what are the operators operators and this is G will be defining set of goal states set of goal states and this O is set of operators O is also set of operators set of operators okay so we are going to take the help of s o g o s capital s small s o and g to define the state okay so just for an example if we have a particular graph like uh, if you have this is the state which is the initial state this is the initial state now from this initial state different operators will take us to different states okay assuming the initial state is capital A this is state B C D E F and G and where this F is representing the goal state where this F is representing the goal state and here we are representing the goal state uh, in double circle but it actually it is not necessary the main aim is we should be able to know that this is the final state or this is the goal locations where we have to reach okay now here this agent or uh, the start state will also be called as agent sometime it is also be called as agent and which is a goal driven agent goal driven agent that means we from this start location we want to reach to the goal state and this goal state see uh, I am representing the goal state here uh, you can use any anything like you can also use this one so I am going to follow this uh, simple methodology everywhere because it, it is very easy to follow that every time we, if you want to show a goal state then I am going to use a double circle because it is very used to it in case of uh, theory of computation we used this uh, notation multiple number of times so we are going to use this notation here and when I am saying a goal state then it can happen then there can be more than one goal states which are present and it can also happen that there are more than one paths to reach to a certain goal state 
like for example here we have more than one goal states and there are more than one paths to reach to the goal states now this is how we are going to define the basic search problems that is uh, there's a basic search problem there's an initial state of the search problem that we'll be defining using these tuples now we are going to define what are the set of states here and out of all the set of states what are the operators which you can perform use to reach from one state to the other state the main aim of this operator is that we should be able to reach from one state to the next state and we are also going to use this set of goal states that is which is going to show us how many goal states are present okay and uh, this is uh, this is these actions like uh, this actions can be anything uh, these actions or you can say these operators are going to map from a single state to the next state okay so this is assume this is s1 and this is s2 that uh, this action this operators are going to map a set that uh, that you are going to perform an action on a certain state then you will do reach to a different state so this action is a mapping uh, which helps an agent to move from one state to the other state now there are two terminologies which we use here number one there is a plan there is a plan and this definition of plan is not different from the real life plan problem and there is some one more terminology which is the solution plan which is a solution plan so when i'm saying plan what do you mean by plan plan means the sequence of actions that that is taken by the agent to reach to the uh, okay the sequence of actions that is taken by an agent is called as a plan and the sequence of action that is taken by an agent to reach to a goal state that is called as a solution plan okay so plan can be it is the sequence of actions sequence of actions that are taken by an agent taken by an agent that is called as a plan and when i'm saying solution plan that means it is the sequence of actions that are taken by an agent i don't have any space to reach to goal state to reach to goal state or we can say it is a set of goal states okay that is called as a solution plan now let us do one thing uh, i i understand that uh, you will not be able to get anything from this this simple definition this is these definitions are just giving you a structure how we are going to define the state space but let us do one thing we will take few examples and for those examples we are going to define what is how you can going you are going to represent the state space okay so let us move on to the next section